What is going on guys? Duck under 44 here today back with another video. Now guys, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm lending you new five games, five underrated games on the Nintendo Switch that some of you probably missed. And personally, these games are really good and they're really overlooked and underrated. So I want to let you know these five games that you should definitely look into because I personally played them and they're really, really good games. And a lot of you probably don't have them or don't even know they exist or if they even came out. So without further ado, we're going to get into these top five games for the Nintendo Switch that are highly underrated and you guys should definitely check it out. Take a look at them. Pick them up if you if you like the rec recommendation I'm giving you guys. And yeah, let's, let's just get right into this. Okay, so here we are. So guys, to start things off, the first game on the list is ARMS. <laughs> I am just kidding. Okay, this game. You guys know I don't like this game, okay? So we're just gonna put that out of the way. Okay, now to get into the real list of games. Without further ado, to start things off, I have Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now, I personally didn't play much of it, but Jack played 10 hours of it and absolutely loved this game. And I also saw many other YouTubers talking about this game, talking very, very highly about this game. So I definitely recommend it to you guys. You don't personally have to get like the figures and stuff, but you should definitely check it out because there's really good battling and gameplay and it has Star Fox in it. I know a lot of you guys might be Star Fox fans and there's not really any Star Fox games on the Switch yet. So it's a chance to, you know, get to play Star Fox um, besides Super Smash. He's in that too. Um, but yeah, Starlink Battle for Atlas. It's, it's basically straight 10 hours of fun sky battling and it, I really like the art style of it. And there's many different characters you can collect. There's also figures you can buy to put in the game. It's kind of like a choice life kind of thing, but you don't need to buy figures at all for this game. So I think that's where people were getting a little bit confused. Like to play this game, you don't need to buy any figures, which is really, really cool. Next up on the list uh, is one of my favorites. This is actually one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch. And I think it's a little bit underrated. I think a lot of people don't know about it, especially the people that are coming, you know, new to, like, people that are new to the Switch, um, probably haven't heard about it because this is, like, one of the closer to launch titles. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This game is absolutely phenomenal, especially if you love, like, puzzle-type games. It's so good. You just, you just have to trust me on this one. Just go out and buy it or ask for it for this holiday season. It's such a good game. The art style is fantastic. The gameplay is so fluent and flush and it's just, it's a very, very addicting for sure. Like once you start playing, you're gonna not, you're, you're gonna wanna go through it all. And there's also a new multiplayer mode in it and they are adding more content into the game, which is really, really cool. Um, so if you haven't checked this out, if you, if you haven't played it yet, I would definitely look into it. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, it's a fantastic, fantastic game. I personally put at least I think like 20 hours into it. It's 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 very addicting and very good. And I'm happy that it was at the E3 awards. It, it won won many awards there because it definitely deserves it. So guys, if you're looking for another game, check out Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Next up on the list, now this game got very very overlooked because it released on the same day of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which a lot of people probably didn't know this came out because when, when I went to go pick it up. They, they were like, oh, that's out. Katamari Reroll. Now, I played, I think, at least five hours. I played five hours of this game, and it's so fun. The art style is fantastic. The graphics are great. The, the way the game flows is, is great. It's just such a different experience on a console. So if you're looking for that really different experience, definitely check out Katamari Reroll. I'm happy I picked it up. Jack told me to get it. And I'm, I'm happy I listened to him because it's a really cool and unique game where you have this character and you basically have to roll around the map and pick up as many items as you possibly can. And then they turn into stars. It's just, it's really, really cool. If you haven't checked it out, if you don't know what it is, definitely take a look into it. Watch a video on it because it's really, really good. And it's only $29.99, which is also a really good thing. So Katamari Reroll definitely makes the list because... I'm just, it's its sad that it got overlooked by Smash because you really can't compete with Super Smash Bros. Let's be honest. It was probably a, a mistake to launch that on the same day, but it happened and I, I respect them because it's a great game. So definitely show them some love and check it out. Next up on the list now, this is a download only game, but I think they actually came out with a physical version. I saw this, uh, Golf Story. 
Golf Story is a fantastic, fantastic game. It's like a golf game mixed with an RPG game, which is really, really cool. The art style is phenomenal. I love that old school retro art style. And I'm just so happy that I got to play that game. And I'm so happy I purchased that game because I kind of just like randomly purchased it. And it's a very underrated game. Like it definitely got some attention because I saw like a good amount of tweets about it. Um, but it's, it's just such a different taste of a game where like, you think it's just like a normal golf game, but it's not, it's like kind of like a Pokemon mix to it. There's not battling, but like just the way it feels, feels like a Game Boy Pokemon game in a way, if you know what I'm saying. Um, definitely check it out. It's great. Another underrated one that I think you guys should definitely look into because I put a good amount of hours into it and I had a lot of fun with it. So definitely check out Golf Story. I believe it's physical at Best Buy. I think that's that's what I heard. But you can also just download it right off your Nintendo Switch. And I believe it's normally goes on sale. I don't know the price of it right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be on your Nintendo Switch shop. So go ahead and check that out. Now, the final one on the list is another one, a download only. Now, this game was on other consoles as well. It was on the PlayStation. It was on the Xbox. But now we just finally got it on the Nintendo Switch. And for people who have a Nintendo Switch, probably haven't played it. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Um, it's Firewatch. Firewatch is a really cool and unique kind of story walkthrough type game. Now, I played it on the PlayStation 4, but I'm going to be downloading it, downloading it on the Switch because I think it would be really cool to be playing that game in a handheld type of way. Um, just because, you know, you have that power with the Switch, which is why the Switch does so well. It's just you get the best of both worlds having a home console and on the go. You know the whole spiel. Okay. But yeah, Firewatch. It's a really, really cool game where you basically answer these questions. Pick your path of way, like pick your path of how the game is going to play out. There's different things that you have to solve. It's kind of like a solving type game. You're basically this guy that's in his watchtower watching over the whole forest and you're you're investigating all these things that are happening in it and it's it's just a really cool story and that the art style is phenomenal like i just love the scenery of it the animals in it and the character you know designs where you see like his bulky hands it's, just, it's a really cool game definitely check it out if you haven't played it already because i think it would be a great one for the switch like i said having that portability is just fantastic for the nintendo switch so guys those are five games five underrated games five hidden gem games on the nintendo switch that i think you should definitely look into out of those ones i would say my all-time favorite out of those five is definitely mario rabbit's kingdom battle but Katamari Reroll is definitely right up with it. Like, actually, all these games are just, they're, they're so good. And I think you guys should really look into them. Um, and really, the expensive ones are would be Starlink and Mario Rabbit Kingdom Battle. The other uh, two, the other three, Katamari runs at 30, like I said. Uh, Fire Rock, Firewatch is going to run you about 20 bucks. And like I said, Golf Story kind of fluctuates. I think, I don't remember what I bought mine. I think 15. I think I bought mine for 15. But it might be on sale right now. I don't know. You guys can go check it out on the eShop or just go to any store that you'd like to pick up these games. Uh, the only way to get Katamari Reroll physical is at GameStop. So that's going to be at your GameStop or you can download it right off your shop. Like I said, for the other ones. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that top five list. Let me know if you guys have any of these games down below in the comments. Let me know if you're looking to pick up any of these games down below in the comments. Let me know if you're going to be getting any of these games this holiday season because you know, it's that time and you guys will be getting presents. So that's why I'm letting you guys know these games that are very underrated and that you should probably pick up, especially if you're going to be new to the Nintendo Switch. But if you're not new to the Nintendo Switch and you don't have these games, you should definitely, definitely look into them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and comment down below. Smack that subscribe button if you are new. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out! Here we go! Oh, my God.